Hi, you're watching Prithi right here from the Leicester Curry Awards kitchen. Now, if you remember last year, I bought to you a recipe of a paneer burji. Now, only four weeks to go for Leicester Curry Awards 2018. Today, I am going to bring you a corn chicken curry. So let's get going. Let's put the gas on here. And like usual, you know what I said to you guys last year, just a little bit of oil because, you know, corn is actually a substitute for chicken. Uh, so for those people that are vegetarian or even vegan, now you get um, corn vegan bites as well that you can use. Um, but I'm using um, normal corn uh, to make this substitute curry. And in there, I've just poured in about a tablespoon of oil and I'm going to add some cinnamon and clove leaves and also some cardamom. Okay, I'm going to add a little bit of jeera into the oil and let all that just fry up. While that's frying up, I'm going to get some garam masala because I like my masalas all cooked. Some people like masala to be added from the top, but I like my masala to be fried up. So there's about a, a teaspoon of garam masala that I'm also putting in to the oil there. Um, and now, as that is cooking, I am now going to add, mm, it smells so lovely. And when you're hungry, this is a real feast. Right, that's now ready, it's all fried up. I'm now going to add some tomato puree, pureed tomato, and let that cook further. I'm going to just turn that gas down a little bit to let it slow cook because the taste of slow cooking is actually very, very different. In this tomato puree with the, um, with all the masalas that I've added, I'm just going to add some dhania, also known as coriander. So that's a big handful of chopped dhania that I've just added in there. And then I'm going to mix all that up into a nice paste and let that cook. Turn that back up again. And now I'm going to add all the other masala. So I'm going to add a little bit of turmeric powder, which is also known as haldi. And some jeera powder or dhana jiru. And of course, a little bit of chili, chili powder. Chili powder, of course, is one of those things that you add according to taste. If you like it chili, you can add more. You can actually add fresh green chilies as well. It very much depends on what, uh, what you fancy. Now that's bubbling away, as you can see. And in that now, I'm going to add the corn chicken pieces. Now, these were frozen and I kept them out this morning. So they're all nicely defrosted. And I'm just gonna add them all in to the wok. And then I'm gonna give it all a nice stir. Did you see? That preparation didn't take long, did it? Okay, so I'm gonna give that a mix. Here's some water that I boiled up earlier. Going to add that in. And I'm now going to let that cook. While that is actually cooking, I'm going to add from my special spoon. Just turn that on. I've got a special spoon here just to fry up spices. And here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add on my special fry spoon, I'm going to add a little bit of oil in there, okay? Just a tiny bit, just enough for um, the burnt garlic taste that I like. Now, you can use fresh garlic and ginger. I do like the taste of ginger, but I'm not gonna use ginger in this because I like the corn chicken curry um, to be more garlicky. So I'm going to avoid using the ginger, but you can add ginger. I'm going to just heat the oil 
in my special spoon. And this isn't fresh garlic, of course you can use fresh garlic, but this is uh, dry garlic that you can get from most supermarkets. And I'm just gonna add like about a, a teaspoon of that garlic. Now, the smell of burnt garlic is absolutely awesome. I'm gonna let that cook. Only if you were here to smell this, your mouth would be watering. Now this, mm, I could so eat this now. I could eat this. I think I could eat this garlic just on its own with some rotis. Actually, some people do do that. They uh, use this as a paste and put it on naan breads and on rotis as well. But I like to fry this up separately. Now watch what I'm going to do. As that fries up, I'm going to add and there may be some flames coming out, which gives that extra garlicky. Now that's turning nice and brown, just like the way I want it. Now I'm gonna add, look, can you see those flames? That gives it that burnt garlic taste. Absolutely awesome. And I am now going to add that into my corn curry. And now I'm going to let that cook and now let that cook for about 15 minutes voila I can smell all the different masalas that I've added the cardamom the clove leaves the cinnamon and of course the coriander as well and with the garam masala and all the other masalas that I've added I know this is gonna taste absolutely awesome now before we put the lid on, I'm just gonna add a little bit of salt to taste. Again, salt is one of those things, it's, some people like it salty, some people like it not very salty. I'm gonna add just enough salt, just to cover up those pieces of corn, and then allow this lovely curry to cook. Now this uh, corn chicken curry is coming on really, really nicely. I think I'm going to give it a couple of more minutes just to uh, cook away. Now this corn chicken curry is becoming more and more available in lots of different restaurants. Of course, you can have the vegan version. So if you are a vegan and you go out to eat, of course, you can ask for the vegan option. Uh, this is uh, suitable for vegetarians and of course it tastes absolutely wonderful. So if you are a meat eater and are trying to become vegetarian, this is a very good substitute. Looks like it's ready to be served and I'm going to put it out in this plate. Well, my corn chicken curry is certainly now ready and this can be served with either roti or with uh, rice. And of course, if you want to try lots of different curries, then come along to Leicester Curry Awards 2018.